welcome to the channel today uh, it's been a long time I haven't posted anything but today I'm gonna talk about uh, the wheel spacing on um, Chevy S10 trucks uh, so many of you maybe uh, asked the question why I need the spacer wheel spacer on my on my truck if I can fit the this kind of wheel over here I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, this is a 18-inch uh, Camaro wheel, which uh, you can see the the offset of the of the car is kind of more pushed out, and um, the back spacing. Oops, um, the back spacing on the, on that. Let me turn around. Uh, how you can see the back spacing um, it's going to be more close to your um, brake caliper and stuff and every time every time that you're going to turn real sharp it's going to rub on the inside part of the uh, suspension so I mean uh, I take the center hole, it might fit, if not you can probably if you don't want to use a spacer, uh, you have to be careful because if you don't use spacer, the wheel is going to be set like way inside so uh, you you might be able to use it, but you're going to be careful whenever you turn real sharp um, um, they're going to rub, so you have to to work well you have to work, uh, uh, get some uh, wheel spacers, which uh, I, I, I've bought this set of um, Amazon, uh, and it's what, what I'm going to be using. It's, uh, I think it's an inch and a half. I think it's an inch and a half, I can't remember. But uh, you're going to use this spacer to uh, push the wheel out. So you have. Uh, you get more uh, back spacing on, on your tire, on your wheel. Uh, I'm going to be installing these set of uh, tires and wheels on a um, 98 uh, S10 step side, I think. Because I got two choices. I got another um, another truck. I'm going to be uh, putting these wheels on. Um, I'm probably going to make another video whenever... Um, I, I'm getting ready to install them. Um, I got the tire size on this. It's uh, 245, 45, 18. Which uh, I ordered the uh, the spacer uh, five five hole uh, by four and three quarter. Which uh, you're gonna be using this, so it give you more uh, more space on your. Uh, on your back spacing, um, it's gonna push your wheel this much. You see right here. All these is gonna push your wheel, so it's gonna give you uh, this much space between your uh, suspension. That's why I ordered this kind of uh, hub centric, what they call hub centric um, wheel spacing. Which uh, I don't know. I might. See how you can see over here. Uh, I think I should. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna make them work. Um, it's a little bit bigger because I ordered these for a uh, S10 and not for a uh, Camaro. Usually the Camaro wheel is going. It's got more. Uh, the center is is more uh, smaller, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make it work. Uh, I didn't check those until today, and uh, I mean that's what you need. Okay. Um, that's gonna be more like a pushing your wheel like inch and a half I think it's I think it's an inch and a half so it's gonna push your wheel out 
And then you're gonna have a space between your your uh, inside suspension. So this is the 18 inch Camaro wheel, steel steel wheel with a beauty ring. I got the center caps, which I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use with the same lung nut of the S10. Uh, we'll see. But there is an idea that how you can get them, you know, work. Like I say, I probably have to uh, grind a little because I didn't check them. I didn't check until today, but I, I'm going to use them. I'm going to use these wheels because I like them. And I'm pretty sure it's going to give a better look to uh, the S10 truck. So... I probably say if you want to order some spacers, you probably need to order some for Camaro, because uh, I ordered it with the what you call the hot sentry, which uh, I don't know helped to set the wheel right. I already got a set of uh, wheel adapter on my other S10, which is broke down over there. But uh, I'm pretty sure if I cut this off. I mean, it, it's going to fit, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to make them work because I need the space. I need the space, and uh, I'm going to give it with this wheel spacer right here. Check it. Check it out. Right there. Wheel spacing. right there okay so that's uh, part of my video today um, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna be trying to make them work because I hate to send them back and stuff like that uh, I figured something out but that's why you need a um, backing space on your wheel that's why I, um, I ordered these uh, wheel spacer so I can get more uh, space and I uh, also give them more look to your wheels because if you put them like no um, no back spacing your wheel is going to be set you know like kind of inside of your fender and uh, I think it look better than if it looks like a flush and they're like a in your fender like straight down if you put them like it is, it's going to be like your fender over here. See? Fender over here, tire over there, way over there. But with with the spacer, you're pushing your wheel out, and it's going to be close to the fender, and it's going to look better. Um, I think, uh, I don't know if you got guys uh, got some questions. Um, I haven't tried these on them yet. I see a bunch of... Uh, trucks that already have them uh, I'm pretty sure they, they got the same thing uh, or they probably ordered the, just the flush uh, wheel spacing but I hope this video helps uh, it's raining outside I don't want to be outside and trying to measure it but I, I, which I know already then uh, this, uh, this tire if I trying to set it on the truck it's going to be like like way inside and I don't like those I don't like that look that's the fender right here and your wheel is going to be way there so that's why you get your spacer that way you push your fender close to the edge of the tire and uh, I think this tire size is going to work well because I already got some uh, some some of these size right here uh, I don't know if you can read right over here uh, uh, right there, 245, 45, 18. Uh, I got a set of these for my cousin. He got aftermarket wheels, but the, the, these size tire, it looked great on those trucks. It looks, I like the looks of that tire. This one don't look too wide, but if you put this tire on a wider wheel, it looks better. Uh, it handles better too, because it got more, you know, more grabbing 
tread uh, on the on the roof and there you go right there that's my project I've been working on uh, so I'm gonna be putting these wheels and tires and get this cheap 15 inch which too many trucks got them so I hope this uh, video help a little uh, I'm trying to explain it myself like the more I can but uh, like I say I think uh, I make a me I messed up messed up ordering but like I say I can cut this or maybe grind it down and make them work but I guess we uh, trying to do some more video on uh, later on and uh, I hope if you like my video, uh, uh, give a thumb up, uh, like it, share it with your friends that are trying to find out a way to put some Camaro wheels on a S10 truck. Uh, myself, I got, I got one, two, I got three, four, four trucks work. Um, I mean that I own. Um, I'm working on two of them. Uh, one is set right there. I don't know if you can see it. That truck right there. The mar uh, Maruno. Uh, I'm working on there for golly. I had it for a long time. And uh, I try to make some time to work on it and finish it. Uh, but I think these wheels, they're going to look good on the step side over there. I don't know if you can see it over there. Uh, maybe not. Uh, no, probably not. It's way over there. Oh, over here. Right there. That's a green, green truck. So I'm going to be putting these spacers on. And I'm going to try to make it look good. Uh, I got some other wheels right here. This is nothing, you know, to extend, uh, you know, things. But um, I like to do some stuff, you know, to make it look a little different. I don't know if you're guessing what kind of wheel is this. It's a Chevy Cobalt HHR or whatever PT Cruiser. Uh, I always want to, to do this kind of stuff. You know, uh, buy a set and uh, paint them cheap, make them look good. And I think they come out a little good. I got a messed up on there on the paint because uh, uh, some deals. But there you go. Here's my video of my S10 project. I uh, hope you guys like it. Give them a thumbs up. I'm going to keep you know, uploading more videos. I've been kind of lazy and don't record anything. But uh, I think I'm going to do it more. Uh, so I can get some more more uh, followers to look at my content on in there. And I uh, and, uh, hope you like it. So if you don't subscribe to the channel, subscribe. And uh, we're going to be doing some more S10 videos. Uh, which I'm a lover of uh, the S10 trucks. I always owned one since probably 20 years ago or some some like that. Uh, thank you, fo uh, folks, and I uh, hope you your day is going pretty good. And God bless.